No one laughs more than me laughing at seeing my own jokes on camera for the first time. I don't know what that says about me. Boy, do I laugh. Hello, I'm Dave Bird. I'm here with The Hollywood Reporter and I'm gonna take you through some of my Hollywood firsts. First time I knew I was genuinely funny. The first big time it happened was at overnight camp. There was a talent show and my bunk chanted, like, we want Bird. We want Bird, and when they did that, it felt like I was special. It did also put a lot of pressure on me in the moment to go on stage with no routine, and I drummed on my stomach, and it was cool. And I feel like that was a, a pretty defining moment as far as like, I wanna, I wanna be a performer. First time I knew I could rap. So, in like fifth grade, I had to do a report on Alexander Pushkin, the Russian poet and I delivered it via rap, and I got an A. And I was like, man, this is the, that was cool. First time I walked a red carpet, I don't even know. I do remember like really early in my red carpet era, I like got high. It was the worst decision I could have made. I avoided every interaction. I had no confidence. I was a shell of a man walking down a carpet, uh, just unsure of, where he was going in life, literally and, and metaphorically in that moment. So now I'm, I'm sober. I'll hit the vape pen after the red carpet. First concert ever was like total out of comfort zone. I mean, imagine being me for the first time. I've never even rapped in front of like my friends. I've never, I don't even do karaoke because it's too stressful. I had generated all this success and fan base behind a computer screen without having ever having to face like any and that day was like, like, will I be a good onstage presence? I just remember the feeling of like just incredibly being overwhelmed. So like I was exhausted after the first song and I was like, oh my God, I have 55 more minutes. And then that day I was like, yes, you're great. And then the next night I was in New York City and I had no fear. I was like, oh, it's, you, you're, you were born for this. So like the difference between uncertainty and you were born for this is like a very extreme difference. First time I knew the idea for Dave would really work. It's truly when I watched the footage of that first shoot day. Cause I, you know, I've seen myself in like music video format, but it's different like seeing handheld camera doing a scene. And I just watched like a clip of me sitting on the urologist table talking to the urologist and I thought like, oh my God, this show is gonna be unbelievable. Just at my own performance in the scene. No one laughs more than me laughing at seeing my own jokes on camera for the first time. I don't know what that says about me. Uh, sometimes I don't like them, but when I do them well, boy, do I laugh. And the first time I felt like I made it. Honestly, like the first day I put out anything this is going like years working on stuff behind the, behind the scenes. All of my friends and family thinking that I've gone crazy trying to be a rapper. I'm finally day one putting something out and it gets like over a million views in the first 24 hours. That was like a day that I'll never forget. Total validation, I am who I thought I was kind of moment. And then also I, I feel like uh, Kevin Durant was like the first celebrity to like publicly go on record being like, I like that guy. It's one thing to go viral online. Um, but it's another thing when like the people you idolize are like publicly like recognizing you. And uh, so that was really cool. First time I knew I had something to say with my music and lyrics was probably uh, like a lot of my music, especially early was like very comedic based. And it was uh, not that I regret that, but there was like a moment where I decided I'm gonna make a serious song. And I made this song uh, called Russell Westbrook on a Farm, which I guess does sound like it's funny, but it's not. And I was just really proud of being able to make like an introspective, non-comedic based song. And like all my like biggest diehard fans at the time were like, that's my favorite of all your things. And I think being able to be less leaning on comedy as a crutch as a rapper was like, I was like, oh my God, I'm not, I'm not a gimmick. I'm actually an artist. First time I knew Dave would be as successful as it is. When LeBron James reached out to me, and said he loved season one. I was like, just truly like my life is like one of two, it's like pre-LeBron and post-LeBron. When like the ultimate man of this world, LeBron, I mean, there is no better man, uh, proactively reaches out to me to praise this show. I was like, this, we're onto something. First time I spent five hours dangling off a billboard in Los Angeles had to be when we shot the season finale of season Two. I wouldn't say I'm afraid of heights, but I'm certainly not like not afraid of heights. Like I, I was like not happy, like as far as, now that's out of my comfort zone right up there. And then it's, then it hailed. 
Like, not only did it rain, which is rare in LA, it literally hailed chunks of frozen mass. You know, you dream to be like on a billboard strapped and it starts hailing. But yeah, I'm Dave Bird, and those were my Hollywood firsts. Hollywood Reporter, thank you for having me. Everyone at home, thank you for watching. And I hope you live a great life.